All right, let's move on to uh, treating or managing arthritis and the, and the different pain medications, or I know there's injections. Talk to us a little about how those apply, depending on what kind of back pain you have. So we can try different medications. The simplest ones are the ones that are over the counter. Mm -hmm. For example, without mentioning brands, but the actual ingredients of ibuprofen or naproxen sodium are very standard uh, over the counter medications that most people are familiar with. But you have to be very careful about these medications. For example, people on blood thinners can't take them. Right. People with stomach issues have had uh, gastric ulcers should not take them. And uh, you have to monitor your blood pressure and your kidney function because these are not benign medications. They work to bring down inflammation, mm -hmm. but they, they can also affect other organs. Exactly, they can affect other organs. Things like acetaminophen, okay, um, that can help too. It's anti-inflammatory like these other medications I'm mentioning, the ibuprofen and the naproxen sodium. Those are called non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Typically, you can get them over the counter, but you can also get them in higher dosing prescription strength that most doctors would you give them for back pain. You mentioned injections here, and I, I want to know about that because I know a lot of patients come in for that. But is that, is that like an instant gratification kind of relief, the injections? Sometimes, yes. If, for example, if a patient comes to me and I'm doing an injection into the muscle, right. into a tight area of the muscle, it's called a trigger point injection. And all I need to use is a little bit of an anti, um, uh, uh, is an anesthetic agent. And I put that in the muscle, and then after I inject that muscle, then I stretch it out, and it goes back to its resting length. That mm -hmm. could be instant gratification. Sometimes I'll put a steroid in. So okay. we talked about non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. The strongest anti-inflammatories are the steroids. You can inject those usually into joints. The small joints in the back are called facet joints, and then you can inject around those joints. You can inject the nerve that goes to those facet joints. Mm -hmm. All of those things can calm low back pain down, but they take a little time to work, usually about two to three days till they really start working.